Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Robert Reyna, Photography with an F. I'm going to kind of do an unboxing without actually doing the unboxing. Kind of tell you what I, why I ordered this monitor and my first impression of the monitor. I also purchased a new computer, which I'll talk a little bit about that as well, and why I purchased that and my impression of it. So let's start out with the monitor. Um, the reason I purchased the monitor is uh, when I'm doing portraits, the nice thing about having a monitor, especially when you're using a 5D Mark II, um, or even a Mark III for that matter, or my Canon 70D, is that the monitor is much bigger. And so when you take a photograph, obviously it comes on right onto the screen at the same time, it actually shows you what your aperture, your shutter speed, your ISO settings are at as well. Uh, but it kind of gives you a better um, look at what you're actually going to be putting onto your computer when you go into um, Lightroom to look at it. So it just kind of gives you an actual picture so you can look at your color, your lighting, make sure your the picture is exactly the way you want it to be. Um, another reason why I purchased it is that obviously it's 7 inches in diameter. It is made out of a plastic material. Um, it's a hard plastic, you know, I would still say you'd have to be fairly safe with it without dropping it. Um, this cover here actually clamps on there, which I already put on there. It does come with a bracket for your HDMI, and it actually comes with a battery. I did purchase an extra charger and a battery um, to add to this. That's another reason I liked about it, is because the only other cable you would actually need is your HDMI cable. Um, basically, um, that's what I like about it. It also comes with this little um, lens hood or monitor hood that you can place right on there just like that and obviously what that's going to do is kind of help knock the glare off the off the screen itself it is a kind of a plastic screen um, I've done some re looked at some reviews on it on YouTube um, it gives it pretty good reviews it has a pretty good picture as well um, I may do another review on this but I really think there's other people out there that have done better reviews on this already um, which made, led me to purchase this product. Um, it is the Phil World Monitor um, FW759-1280 by 800 field monitor. Um, for what I'm going to use it for, I think it will work great. Um, again, I haven't used it yet, but I will be testing this. Um, again, what I like about it, the size of it, it's very light, even with the lens hood, hood on there, and the battery. Um, I also it also comes with this little thing here so basically this would actually go on to a um, umbrella stand you can actually screw this right onto there just like that and then you can actually tilt this so it gives you a little bit better view of what you're trying to see um, so that's another reason why I purchased it it's an easy bracket to to attach it's nice and easy um, so I think I'm gonna get a lot of use out of that my next investment that I purchased was this new MacBook, MacBook Pro um, computer, obviously. Um, I, what's nice about this one, obviously I can take it with me. I can download all the files. Um, I can clean them up, email photos, certain photos to certain clients, make sure they're okay with the photos, and um, just get things done without having to worry about coming back to the studio right away getting that done. I can actually do that out in the field um, or at a hotel if I'm staying in, that, in a hotel without having to worry about coming back here. A lot less to carry. It's a pretty small, it's a 13 inch monitor. Um, I like it. Pretty light. Does everything I'm going to need it to do. So, I'm very happy with that. And of course, you know, MacBook Pros are they're just great computers. And I think most of us that actually um, do this, um, a lot of people are using Macs anyway, so it just works great. All right, guys, so in closing, I guess, um, what do I feel? I feel for, you know, I don't really remember what I paid for. I think it was like $110, $120. I did buy this on, buy this on Amazon. Um, these were a little extra. I think these were $20, $30. Bucks. Um, I did have this, you know, you guys have all heard of the Geek Pro. Um, I don't use it in here, so I'm actually able to take that apart. Stick all this right in here in this nice little carrier. So I don't know if you guys have anything like this that you can carry, maybe able to carry your monitor in. 
um, I'm lucky enough that this will work. Um, but again, my overall impression, I think it's for the money, I think it's going to work out great. Um, again, for what I'm trying to use it is just get a better picture or look um, at what I'm taking a photograph in um, and be able to um, figure out if I need to move on to the next shot. So again, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. If you have any comments, please put them below. I will reply as quick as I can. Um, I'll be doing a little bit more of these reviews as well as I can as I as I go along. Maybe some um, some of my lighting gear that I have here in the studio as well. Um, and any, anything you'd like to see or any questions you have, don't hesitate to write them down. And I will get back to you guys as quick as I can. And again, thanks for watching. And I appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up. Thanks. Bye.